and thank you very much for uh, the invitation and I, I wasn't so sure what, what, what we were talking exactly, so I, I will make a little presentation. We began working on this kind of things probably uh, through the situationists and the psychogeographic uh, maps. And, you know, and it was in my school, in the School of Architecture, uh, we were around there and there was a certain interest in mapping, so we began mapping and then uh, mostly we, I like uh, the Deleuze and, and Guattari approach. I know there are, you know, t many different approaches, uh, but this is what I might be introducing today, you know, because it was important for us at, at the time. No? And I think they, they put forward, you know, relevant ideas. Yeah? Um, some of the projects we did, uh, actually Pablo has been working on, on, on cartography, probably he's more of a cartography scholar than I am right now. But, uh, you know, with this Deleuze and Guattari ideas, I was in Los Angeles in California at the time, right after Seattle, the famous uh, event, the Battle of Seattle, where this, you know, cycle of uh, counter summits began. And there was another summit in Los Angeles and we, uh, I, I put together a group of friends and, and we were one of the organizers of a big event there uh, protesting the um, uh, Democratic Convention, which is a tradition in the US to have you know, big gatherings trying to change the, the program or the ideas of the future candidate. And it was big at the time. You know, many of the people from Seattle came down to Los Angeles. So we put in the, we had a big space called Converge, Convergence Center. And we put there a map that everybody would put things up. And at the end, we um, uh, produced like some images, but you know, it was more like a, a, a process. You know? uh, then we made another map in Sevilla. We'll show it now, but it's uh, in Spanish, but I'm sure, you know, it's easy to understand because the ideas are familiar. Uh, we published it in Brazil, actually. And there's some notes about this uh, Watari thing, uh, the lesson Watari, sorry. Uh, I will translate right away, no? It's in the, uh, when the lesson Watari in, in a thousand plateaus describe the uh, principles of rhizome, uh, the fifth and sixth principles, are the, is the principle of cartography and the principle of decalcomania. <laughs> I think that's a word in English. And, you know, pr you will probably know uh, decalcomania was the idea of, you know, you make a map uh, and then you compare it with the territory or with more traditional maps and see what are the conflicts there, no? But the, uh, here's a very nice um, uh, paragraph. This, the map is open, it's connectable in all its dimensions, it's, uh, you can unmount it, change it, uh, it's susceptible of receiving uh, constant modifications, it can be broken, altered, it can be adapted to different uh, montages, it can be initiated by an individual, a group, a social formation can be drawn on a wall, it can be conceived as a work of art, uh, it can be built as a political action or as a meditation. Uh, one of the characters of the rhizome or the map uh, is that of having multiple entries. A map is always a, 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 a event or a question of performance. Desire always is produced and moves rhizomatically. So uh, when we were working at the beginning in, in Los Angeles, this was one of our texts. And actually, uh, this idea of uh, work of art, meditation, political action, or everything at the time uh, was an important idea for us. 
Um, then uh, going back to the general Deleuze and Guattari theory, I, I would point out two the main ideas. You know, one is uh, related to the rhizome, of course, and it's you know it's a it deals with the production of new unconscious or new desires. Um, so it's not representing what there is, but it's representing a new unconscious, a new desire, new connections among the things, and we select some things and not others, and we make these connections, and in this process we produce a, a new um, unconscious or, and, or new spaces of unconscious and new, new desires. No? And the other idea is a, a famous, for me at least, a paragraph in, in, or line in the Lessing Guattari in A Thousand Plateaus, where they say uh, the wasp and the orchid, the insect and the flower, uh, make rhizome, no, sorry, make a map or map themselves, each other, in the heart of a rhizome. I will repeat, sorry, the wasp and the orchid uh, make map in the heart of the rhizome. So the idea is, um, you know, two different things connect each other and they call that thing making a map or making map or making rhizome. And this, you know, produces a new event of the real, of the world. No? So this was, you know, some of our inspirations. No? And, and, you know, it looks really abstract, but uh, it can, then we made maps, no? And, and, and we made pro uh, mapping processes, no collective mapping processes. No? Um, so this was uh, a, very, a final map in Los Angeles. Uh, with the you know the rallies and the uh, more artistic actions, this Sabatista woman and how the downtown changed, which is a financial center, it was you know let's say conquered or transformed by uh, social movements and then more uh, police brutality and political actions. Then uh, the this was another very nice map we made in 2002. There was a, a summit in Sevilla from the European Union, and we took the um, uh, text by Subcomandante Marcos, the Zapatista um, speaker, uh, who was explaining the globalization. At the time, it wasn't so clear, at least for us, what was going on. And he really explained like seven pieces of a puzzle that didn't fit. And we took the ideas of the Zapatistas and in a talk for the social forum in Sevilla and different groups and people say, let's make a map. And so we, you know, worked together with people who were experts in different parts of the city and we made the map and it became a, a, a tool to discuss the city, no? Uh, okay, so this was a, a, a presenting the networks uh, we we were part of this large uh, network called Indy Media Stretcho. Uh, at the time, it was a global network in the media, and we make a, a with many, several other people, many other people in Andalusia and southern Spain and northern Mar uh, Africa and Morocco, uh, to try to uh, you know create like a new structure between the digital and the physical over the, the border, you know? and communication, of course, was very important, what we call it the biopolitical production network. And we had a couple of meetings, and so we, here we were trying to map this, you know, machine, let's say, you know, social machine, and it was like events and, and people and, and tools, which we thought, you know, was, was this uh, machine we were building on the border trying to change the, the situation. Okay. Let's move to the actual, oh, there, the map of the Straits, the other one there before. So, uh, you know, Paolo was there like, like myself and many other people, but then uh, we all decided to make an alternative map of the Straits of Gibraltar. Both of you have mentioned, Natasha and, and Severin, thank you. And, and the beautiful thing was, you know, was part of the process. Indimedia was there and we had like three axes in Indimedia. And we already talked about mapping, you know, with the Indimedia as a main tool. 
with the people from Malaga, Toret, and, and Nico, and Pilar, and many others. So we said, you know, we're trying to map uh, migration and border and citizenships. Ship. We were trying to border the transformation of, of work. Uh, it was at the beginning of you know this all this discussion about precarity. It was 2003, 2004, and we were trying to discuss a new role of freedom of knowledge and and, and the digital. And that was the main ideas in the media. And then we tried to map it in a, in a piece of paper, uh, or let's say a map that we could build together, put our, our ideas together and share it and discuss it with whoever, no? uh, social networks and people in the border itself, also in Europe. And, and you all know the, the map. Maybe the, the, the most interesting thing was this collective production and this idea that, that it was part of a very wider process as, as both of my our colleagues have talked before. No? And the second side was more uh, led by Paulo and Pilar Monsel and, and some other people. And, and that was the back side. No? And this was also thought as a machine um, describing what we were going to do as social networks in our region the next year. So we are plan already was there uh, May Day, which was uh, this meeting for of precarious workers, us, <laughs> and the uh, HAG meeting, which was very important in Spain at the time, and Italy, so we were having HAG meeting in Sevilla, and then some other events uh, concerning migration. And all our networks and events and machines were again mapped there. The idea was you know, on the territory, we were building a different territory. You know? So the map was also a machine to produce other events, other territories. You know? Maybe it's a little idealistic, <laughs> but some many things ha happened. No? So, and it became as more as architects or as urban designers is also another of our um, concepts, like uh, we put together different things, heterogeneous things, and try to make them work and make uh, the city happen in a different way. I, I, I am finishing now. Thank you. <laughs>